Um, hi, good. Hi, hi, Mr. Higgins. <laughs> so we're in a, a beige hotel room to talk about, um, what's it called? Carry You. Carry we put you. out a song together. We did. A dream yeah. come true. How did the idea, what made you decide to ask me? So we sing? have Sarah Belkner, who plays keyboards and sings in both our bands. Yeah. Yours for some years, right? Yes. She and was mine before you stole Yeah, I years. totally stole. I stole <laughs> all my band off various people. So Sarah Belkner... I said, do you reckon Missy would, I've got this song, do you reckon Missy would do it? Or maybe Sarah had heard it by then. Because I was in post-production for Upright mm. and um, and I had this idea that we should, the, the song, for those who haven't seen it, uh, exists in, in the world of Upright. The, the character Lucky plays it in the middle of the desert um, in episode five. And I had this idea that we should repeat the song over the credits, but that it shouldn't be him singing it because he's come a whole journey and is not in the same headspace. Mm. But I wanted the audience to have that reflective thing. Mm. And it, I thought it'd be really good to be a female voice and and it's very Australian, very much about going. Anyway, it seems so obvious to me that you were the right person to sing it. And, uh, and Sarah, mentioned that you're in Canberra, I think. So we just got together, didn't we? Mm. Well, what, what do you think? It's, it's I think it's dramatic, beautiful. It? Well, I mean, Sarah's production was so yeah. minimalist and yeah. classy. And I think um, she made it really simple from the first version. Remember, we had drums and it was, it was more organic, but it was less contemporary, I think. Yeah, and she kind right. of made it a bit more modern. <laughs> Were you nervous about bringing out uh, or writing a song that was much more, I guess, earnest and heartfelt mm. than like most of your kind of I have, comedic yeah, ones. Yeah, and it's so nice to hear someone who's a proper vocalist singing my stuff as well because my voice is a storytelling machine. It doesn't, I, um, it's not a beautiful thing. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it has a function, but um, it's, it was amazing. I, my son said, this is, this is like a proper song. <laughs> like, what's that supposed to be? Yeah, totally. <laughs> How did you interpret it? Or, yeah, or, or, I think or is that a silly question? Or when I heard it, I... Yeah, I mean, it's it felt like a song about longing with a tinge of regret, I guess. Um, I didn't really intellectualise it too much. Yeah. I think it just I just kind of felt it in, in my heart and I loved um, the few little kind of specific lyrics in there too about Cottesloe Cottesloe, Beach and the fish and chips and they're the things that I really love in songs because they're so visual. I I wonder if the audience of Upright know who Lucky wrote Carry You about. Yeah because it could be about three different things right? Yeah. Um, So even I when I watched it at the end I couldn't quite I mean I had in my mind who I thought it was about yeah, but yeah it really could have been about a few different yeah. things how has the response to the series been for you in general uh, it's been amazing it, it, for the first time in my life probably since Matilda I thought this is this is good mm. usually I have massive crises of con I, I didn't I never thought I never had a massive crisis of confidence about upright I just went I think this is the sort of thing I want to be involved in and Mm. And so many things we were very lucky with in the people we found to work on it and all the way down to being able to get you to do the final moment. It just sometimes things fall your way and a lot of things fell our way. So thanks for um, thanks for doing that for us, for our such show. Such a pleasure. I loved it. It was. It's such a nice challenge in a way to take on somebody else's song and see if you can reinterpret it through your own yeah. lens and uh yeah i immediately loved it when you played it to me i will carry-